Hi guys, so today we're going to be reviewing guinea pig cages. I just felt like I had to make this. Um, so what I'm going to do is rate about the price and about the square footage. So, um, I will put up the square footage and compare. So this cage is called, at uh, Petco, the Hagen Living World Deluxe Habitat. These are the dimensions at 37.8 by 20, I mean by 22.4. So we're going to calculate this into the square footage calculator to see how much it is. Also, I just wanted to say first, um, so here is the minimum for two guinea pigs is 7.3 square feet. So if you have two guinea pigs, we're just going to go and assume a person has two guinea pigs. That's what we're going off by. We're not going to do three or four. We're just going to assume that 7.3 square feet footage is for two guinea pigs. Now, if you have three, you can still refer to this. So it's literally a 5.7. This is good for one guinea pig, but for two, and mainly we assume you get two guinea pigs because they are sociable animals. Please do not get one guinea pig. But this is for two it's way below and that's just the minimum okay that's just the minimum i think it's kind of cruel to just have one guinea pig unless your guinea pig is you know um aggressive and you can't be bonded at the moment then fine but even still this is the minimum i i wouldn't recommend that but let's just go by 7.3 so it's not even it's just below minimum of 5.7 as you can see, 10.5 is better. These people have the nerve to call this the deluxe habitat, which is crazy to me. And that's the price for a large. Are you kidding me? This is also at um, Petco, but uh, of course you can compare prices. Now this is the rabbit, um, my first home rabbit or multiple guinea pig starter kit. So the length is 42 inches, the width is 18 inches. It's literally a 5.2. Like, really. See, this is it compares to, like, literally being in a bathroom. Literally. A bathroom with another person. Small bathroom. So, just put yourself in a guinea pig's situation. That this is very tiny for them, you know? Just wanted to say, look at the price. $117 for this piece of crap. Are you kidding me? This is also at Petco. You can always compare prices, but this is the worst. So we're just going to look at this one. Now this, come on guys, literally. These people are literally asking for $179. And this is the wear cleaning living cage. 2.0. 35.5 inches with 19 inches. This is even worse. It literally says a 4.68 square feet. This is not good as in terms of pricing because this is just not good. I mean, look at it. I'm literally gonna almost spend $200 for this piece of small cage crap. Are you kidding me? This is also at Petco, you and me, rabbit, guinea pig, or ferret home. As of terms of cost, it is, oh, sorry, my bad, $100 for a small bathroom so as in price it's not a good um good price range i say literally 40 dollars is fine but come on like 100 dollars, really all they have is 40 inches on here but like come on i would not recommend people getting that i can say just by looking at this photo this is not really a good thing at all because come on this is like literally a bathroom and this is just one guinea pig imagine if you had two this is the you and me guinea pig starter kit so as in price this is not that bad but come on gotta mention square footage 3.63 this is also the way below minimum don't recommend this cage so i have the midwest guinea pig habitat um so apparently at Chewy, it is $64, which isn't that bad as compared to the other $100 ones, but I still think it's a little bit expensive. So the square footage is 7.83 feet squared. So like I said, it was 7.8 feet squared. 
So when you look at for two guinea pigs, it's 7.3 square feet for the bare minimum. But preferred, it is 10.5 square feet. And like I said, more is better. So the fact that um, still qualifies between the bare minimum, but it is a better cage than the other ones we literally just looked at. So now this is the all living things guinea pig penthouse. So I just want to look at it a little bit more. What it kind of looks like now. It looks better, but now this is only about 90 bucks, which is expensive to me. Um, so it's the same as the Midwest as in terms of square footage. They're both a 47 by 24. Still, it's just bit the kind of like within the minimum, just the bare minimum, not below, but kind of just, you know, in between. I just think the Midwest is a bit better as in terms of price. Um, I don't know about the quality though. I'm just only reviewing about the prices and the square footage. So this is the Midwest Wabitat. This is about $90 on Chewy. So it's expensive to me. So this is a 7.74 square footage. So kind of, you know, just bare minimum as you can see. But um, would I recommend this? Probably no. And it's just, no. But I mean, this is kind of more of a rabbit. But like, so I mean, if you wanted to, I guess you can put your guinea pig in here. I guess. You know, I guess. Now we're going to look at the Ferroplast KV80 guinea pig cage. So I can already tell you that this is pretty much small. And about the price they're wondering or want is $74.99. And that was the list price of $105. And I will save $31. Really, $31. That's mm, crazy. This is literally a... 3.9 square feet um this is below minimum even concerning for that price this is not good despite the reviews on chewy i can already tell you that this is looks bad and this is still on chewy this is the iv tuvin indoor and outdoor small pet habitat so this is 5.16 square feet this is just below minimum would not recommend at 119 dollars my god <laughs> there's no reviews on here but uh yeah so this is 262 dollars guys almost 300 dollars from the a and e cage company is this like the freaking channel you know a and e is a channel but even guys come on like this looks already small like wow okay so 7.0 so this is kind of below a little bit below minimum this is ideally a 7.3 or 7.5 but this is kind of like a 7.0 so not really ideal especially for this freaking price so for the last one of this video i mean there's tons of more but i just want to show you this is a kt my first rat habitat so actually this is a rat habitat, my bad. So this is also a Chewy. This is what it looks like. KT, my first giant pet habitat. This is $159, like literally 160. So this is eight feet squared. This is um, just the bare minimum. Um, so I guess it's okay. Just the, oh, just the, you know, whole um, looks of it. I would just remove this. I don't know if it, if it says guinea pig. It just says pet habitat. So I don't know if this is for... Okay. Rabbit or multiple guinea pig. Which I would definitely remove this off. Like the blue things right here. I remove that off in the ramp. To just give space. But I mean... I would never really recommend that. This this is just not good for a rabbit or nor a guinea pig. So that's just it for this video. I could make a part two series, but this is just some of the cages of many, you know, that 
just isn't really good and they just fit the bare minimum. I have not seen a cage that meets that standard of, oh my gosh, I have just saw a cage that met the bare minimum, you know, but not, and I've seen a lot of cage that, cages that meet the standard of way below minimum. Um, but I have not met a cage that exceeded the bare minimum. I have not seen it unless you make your own cages, which is this cubes and core plast, which I recommend that is most, the most cheapest option out of all. I mean, of course you can buy, you can buy something like this, you know, for guinea pig cages, but this is what a guinea pig sh cage should look like, if not bigger. Um, but... If you didn't want it, but this costs more, especially with the lid, if you wanted a lid to keep your cats away. Um, but it does have these little sectional dividers, like, I want to put snacks in here, or whatever. You can make your CNC cage however you want. I, to be honest, I would never buy from this company, the KV company, even though it's cute. I just wouldn't recommend, because why would I pay you guys about 100, like, $180 about to do this it just doesn't make any sense to me so like i said you can just go on amazon you know buy like maybe 12 of these for like 30 bucks it's cheap it's like good you can just buy core plus that's like about 20 dollars. i got mine for 20 dollars at lowe's it may change prices but it's not going to be 100 dollars to buy this it's fair this whole thing is fairly cheap you can keep expanding as much as you would like it's it better better option so i just thank you guys for even like looking at the video and watching it um i appreciate that let me know what you do for your cages and yeah so i'll see you all guys in the next video hopefully bye thank you for watching